FDBC has just announced a partnership with online mortgage broker platform Nuke to help ease the process of home loan applications. It joins at least six other banks in that. Now, Nuke actually just launched in January, offering end-to-end -end home purchase loan process from choosing a home to getting that loan approval. Joining us this morning to talk about the housing market and demand for home loans, Chris Elder, Chief Executive Officer of Nuke. Chris, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. So it's been a month since you've launched and how's the reception so far? It's been good. It's been as expected. We're mm -hmm. having a, a steady flow of loan applications through. Mm -hmm. And uh, what have you learned so far about this market? Uh, it's like all markets that are new to mortgage brokering, which is exactly what Nook is doing. We're bringing mortgage brokering to the Philippines. So we're trying to educate the market on how a mortgage broker can help a home loan borrower. So exactly what does a mortgage broker do? Yeah, so a mortgage broker like Nook has established partnerships with multiple banks mm -hmm. and we act as an intermediary between those banks and home loan borrowers. Mm -hmm. So we help the borrower find the right loan for them and then guide them through the loan application process all the way through to loan approval and we do that for free because banks pay us a commission to find new, good, qualified borrowers mm -hmm. uh, that are out there. Okay. So essentially you're like the marketing arm for these banks. Correct. Because when people go to your platform, we can actually compare the rates of all your partner banks. You'll be able to give us a computation of how much your monthly uh, is going to be, and then we can make the decision. Exactly. Yep. And also on your platform, we can look for the houses that we want? You can too, purchase. as well, yes. Okay, so t t talk to us about that. So it's a complete real estate platform. Uh huh. So a place where you can find and finance your next property. Mm -hmm. And you hold the client's uh, hand all through the process. Correct. But don't banks give like special rates? Because I know that when, you, when you're when you serious about a property, you call the bank, they give you a standard rate, uh, maybe a 6.8% uh, per annum for a home loan. But you can call the manager and say, give me a, a, let's negotiate a better rate. Are you able to get to that level as well? Correct. So we've got head office access mm -hmm. to all of our bank partners. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's talk about the demand for real estate loans because we do have a data from BSP that real estate loans have seen healthy growth over the last five years, constantly making, about, uh, making up about 20% of total loans. Uh, in the Philippines. Notice how the jump from, if you could show the graphics, from 2017 to 2018 was actually the smallest. There, there you have it, the graphics. Um, is that growth uh, because of the rate hikes that we saw in 2018? It, it's that and other macroeconomic mm -hmm. influences such as a growing middle class and uh -huh. more spending power of the average Filipino. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so now that interest rates are expected to go down from last year, go down some more this year, what sort of bump up in demand are we expecting to yeah. see? In I think in any market when mm -hmm. banks pass on the full uh, interest rate cut, you always see a bump up in um, home loan borrowing, but even if they don't pass on the full rates, there's still other macroeconomic influences that are helping the uh, home loan market grow at double digit growth rates. Mm -hmm. And what other macroeconomics are you talking about? What makes you very confident that people are going to go to your platform and just look for homes to purchase and get that next home loan? Well, it's partly due to our, our strong um, um, offering is that is that we're helping you through the whole loan application process. But aside from that, um, what is in the environment, in our business environment now, that makes it very conducive and attractive for Filipinos to get that next home? Oh, it's just the, it's the growing uh, emerging economy of the Philippines. It's the uh, it's just the strong growth rate of the, uh, the economy generally. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, so you are a mortgage broker. W would, you s would you say you're the first in the Philippines? You are, correct? Yeah, yeah. You are, but this, this model, this mortgage brokering, ha is already present in other countries. How has it worked in other countries like Australia, I understand? How has it worked so far? Then? Well, 60% of all home loans in countries like Australia are through a mortgage broker. So we're saying roughly almost two out of every three borrowers go direct to a mortgage broker for their home loan rather than directly to a bank and try and do it themselves. Mm -hmm. And do you think that number, that ratio, could be replicated here in the Philippines? I think eventually. I think once people understand what a mortgage broker does and how easy it is to get a home loan through a mortgage broker, I think that's when we'll start to see uh, us climbing towards that sort of statistic. But what are the chances that banks eventually learn this trade, doing, it, doing the online platform thing, and ease you out? Do it themselves? No, no because... 
even if you have an online application with one bank, that's just with one bank. You still don't get to compare apples with apples for all banks. Mm -hmm. And we still need someone to guide you through the process. And so right now you're the first one, no direct competitor yet. Not yet. Okay, so how does, um, I guess the question for a lot of people who want to buy properties is, you know, it's different when I buy a property from a big developer, like the Ayala's or the SM's. It's, it's easy to transact easy, yeah. the loans because they have partner back. Correct. And there's a, usually a flexible payment scheme. But one I buy from a private, um, like, a, like a small time private owner of a property, the, fl the payment schemes are not as flexible. No, How do you help in that regard? Well, that's where that we is a really very big gap, right? Yeah. Now. Even with the property developers, we mm -hmm. can still help those. We've had a number of property developers reach out to Nook to see how we can help them make sure that loans, oh, sorry, their sales do push through because they do still lose uh, sales due to uh, the the home loan process. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, you're like a you put together the Lamudis plus an online banking platform where you connect everybody. Um, but how big would your listings be right now? Uh, 15,000. 15,000 properties Correct. posted on. What, eventual, what, what sort of growth are you looking at for We're the list? Growing at 385% month on month. Okay, 385% month on month. And I imagine that eventually, so your profit model, your business model now is you earn from the commission that the banks give you. Correct. Uh, lower single digits, you're not going to tell us what. But that is the rate. Uh, eventually, I imagine the crown jewel becomes the data that you're able to collect. Exactly. Talk to us about what sort of data you're looking at. We're One. able to see the entire industry, so not just uh, statistics from one particular bank, but the entire uh, banking industry. Okay. Mm. Uh, can you give us more details on what customer data you have, you, you're looking to get? Yeah, the, the types of loans, the average value of loans, the mm -hmm. type of properties, the locations, uh, interest rates that are more uh, appealing, uh, mm -hmm. particular banks that are more appealing, the list goes on. And what do you plan to do with this data eventually that you get? Well, it helps us be smarter about the housing loan market. Okay. And would ads be also in the horizon? Ads for your website, for your platform? Oh, correct, yeah. That would be no ads yet for now? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. And um, let's talk about um, the KYC, the New York customer. Will you be in charge of KYC? No. Because no. you're, holding, you're holding their hand through the loan application. Or so only until the submission of the requirements. Correct. So then it's over to the bank to do their usual process. They still do the verification and all that sort of stuff. So we're really a, a sales and marketing arm of the bank. Mm -hmm. And initially, one month in, you're starting to see, you've already closed some transactions. Mm -hmm. Congratulations Thank on you. that. What trends are you seeing? Who is the market today? What sort of price range are they looking at? Which properties are hot and which are not? Yeah, so still the condos. They're still certainly uh, top of everyone's mind. Mm -hmm. um, we're seeing obviously Metro Manila is a key area for us at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, it's really that, that sort of market. How moment. young is the market? Very young, yeah, sort of uh, mid-20s to 30s. Wow, mid-20s to 30s. Yeah. And are they mostly male or female? Female, actually, yeah. Female and first-time buyers or repeat buyers? Uh, both, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah, a mix of both. Single or with family? Typically family. with uh, family. Typically with family. Yeah. Interesting. And, um, okay, I guess since it all sounds so rosy now, what do you think is the biggest risk for the housing market? It's not that you, you're not seeing a bubble, are you? Not so far. We wouldn't be investing so much if we, if we thought that was going to happen. So, no, we're quite bullish on the, on the whole market. Okay, what would be the biggest risk? for the housing market, um, if there is one. Potentially oversupply, which we see in other countries. Mm -hmm. Like which countries? Uh, particularly Australia. Okay. Yeah, in the condo market. Okay, so one month in, we hope to talk to you again when you're one year in and see what sort of interesting data you have for us. Great, thank you, Michelle. Thank you very much, Chris, and congratulations. Thank you.